today is Wednesday and um, it's 4 p.m. It's actually 4 10. We're a little bit late, but we're going live regardless. So I'm um, super excited. Gonna be making a broccoli slaw ramen salad today. I'm running late because I ordered groceries as I typically do. And um, there was one um, grocery that was out. Can you guess what it was? Broccoli. <laughs> I literally cannot make this recipe without broccoli. So I had to run to the store to get broccoli, so a little bit late. So my apologies to you. <clears throat> Thank you for waiting for me, I appreciate it. If you're watching on the replay, um, make sure that you um, say you're welcome, <laughs> just like everybody else. I appreciate you guys more than you know. So I um, wanted to, let me get this kind of squared away. There we go. So I wanted to uh, let you guys in on a little something. Well, first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Jennifer Soto. I am a Pamper Chef consultant. I've been a consultant for going on 26 years, and I just hit a really big milestone yesterday. So um, I it's not official yet because the stats are not updated, but um, I got all the sales to go over $1 million in career sales with the Pamper Chef. That is a lot of tools. And I got to tell you, it really is a lot of tools because um, our hosts earn half price products. And as consultants, we don't earn commission on those half price products. We earn commission on everything else, just not that stuff that's half price. So that means that is a lot of things like this and the bowls and the food choppers and, you know, 50, 60, $70 items and even the ones that are under $20. That is a lot of items. So I'm really stoked. I want to thank you guys all of my customers, all of my awesome customers. If you have purchased from me in the past, I want to say thank you. And if you are purchasing from me in the future, this is your first time to see a video, I want to thank you in advance support for supporting me. This is the time of year when people are cooking a lot more than they do the rest of the year. Maybe you have potlucks to attend. Maybe you have school functions to attend. Maybe you're gifting and you don't like to spend, you know, 20 bucks here, 20 bucks there on gifts, go ahead and do some bake to give. So um, I think I've talked about some of the bake to give options. Um, uh, we have these great pans. Maybe I'll talk a little bit more about it uh, next week, but um, we, right now this month, we have all of our baking mixes are on sale, 15% off, which puts them under $10 fantastic you can really stock up on your baking mixes so that you can bake to give so baked what is bake to give bake to give is you bake something so like if you use our mini loaf pan to make caramel latte bread and you're going to give that to all of your teachers neighbors friends um all like your hairdresser and stuff like that it's going to cost you less than a dollar a gift you know plus your wrapping or whatever but like for the actual bread it's gonna cost you less than a dollar if you have to buy a baking mix you can kind of double that to two dollars if you're giving away 25 baking items okay so it's just a really good deal to do that and then you won't have to buy that pan again so get your mini loaf pan or your brownie pan if you really want to uh, step it up and have 24 little mini loaves to give away what is going on? It looks like my hair is sticking out over here. Oh my goodness. All right, <laughs> so I was running up to put my makeup on and I was like out of breath. So I was like, please let me gather my breath before I start this video. And now I'm talking really fast, so. Okay, so this recipe hails from our Seasons Best. Um, I love our Seasons Best. It's a great little collection of recipes. It's actually the only printed recipe book that we sell anymore. It's only $2. Go ahead and add it on to any order um, that you make. And so we're gonna make it out of here. So there's lots of great recipes in here. Hot ham and cheese sliders, broccoli slaw, ramen salad, uh, brown butter tortellini, vegetarian enchilada skillet. Hey, you guys have seen some of those recipes this in the past couple weeks in practice and so I love to make these recipes um, I usually make them at my shows and I don't do as many in-person parties as I used to so I do them on my videos okay so we're gonna start with this has a 10 minute prep time 20 minute total or an hour and 20 minute total for everything to prep and sit and everything and that's because it needs to sit for a little bit so we are gonna go ahead and prep everything and then I'll show you the finished product at the end when it's done marinating and we can put it in our um put it on our um in a bowl <laughs> to eat okay so um the first thing we need to do is put jennifer's glasses on because i'm almost 53 years old and i can't see anything up close anymore so we need half a cup of our slivered almonds we're going to use our pop and stir here half a cup of slivered almonds already measured them out use the stackable measuring cups love these because they all stack together 
and they clip together and they have a little leveling um, tool on the top. So half a cup of that. Then we need a three tablespoons of brown sugar. I went ahead and measured those in a prep bowl. If you guys don't have prep bowls, you need them. Actually, you can make things like spiced nuts or um, little candies or whatever and put them in a prep bowl. Six prep bowls come in a package. Put a lid on it, wrap some cellophane up in it, and you have a nice little gift to give. So that's kind of fun to do. Um, and then we need one tablespoon of water. We'll just add that right there. And then we need a teaspoon of cinnamon. So I actually had to go open up another cinnamon, go grab it from my stash that is, goes with me to my vendor events. So, um, and so we'll just add the cinnamon here. Okay, so we have brown sugar, cinnamon, and our slivered almonds, and we're going to turn this pop and stir on the nut setting. So, what is the pop and stir? Pop and stir is a popcorn maker. You can see, you've got a lid here. You can pop your popcorn in it and then flip it over. This tray comes out right here, and it goes in the dishwasher. This bowl goes in the dishwasher. This lid comes off right here um, so that when you're storing or when you're popping the lids off, um, you don't use the lid when you're making the nuts and then the whole thing nests inside the lid so that's pretty handy because what it does is um, it prevents um, it prevents you from uh, having to take up a whole lot of storage space if you were to put it all together it would be really big so um, it doesn't take up a lot of storage space so we're gonna let that go it's gonna take about six minutes for that to get going the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our um, dressing okay so I have all my ingredients for the dressing right here and I'm gonna do it in this um, dressing container it's called a measure mix and pour okay so we are going to it says to whisk them in a large bowl but I'm gonna do it in here um, probably should whisk it you guys I probably should whisk it I mean I don't know, I don't know. Usually I mix everything in here. We'll just do it in here and we'll see, okay? So this might be a little bit messy. We're gonna put our mayonnaise in here. So this is what happens when you try things for the first time. Pampered, not perfect. Normally I would just flop this into a bowl, but I don't really wanna make a giant mess. So we'll just carefully put this in here. Um, this is the measure all cup, the, the small measure all cup. And the small measure all cup has one cup capacity and you just pull this out and you can measure there's markings on the side turn it over like this you can measure water and other liquid ingredients in there okay and then we need three tablespoons of sugar which i have right here in this prep bowl and i use the measuring spoon from our little stackable measuring spoon set we use two of them here they come in a set of six so that's kind of handy all right, and then we need some white vinegar. We need two tablespoons of white vinegar. This is the smallest cup of the Easy Read Measure Cups. Love the Easy Read Measure Cups. They come in a set of four. They used to come in a set of three, so now they come in a set of four, and that's fantastic. And then we need one tablespoon of the savory maple seasoning. I mean, one teaspoon, <laughs> not a tablespoon. Okay, so the savory maple, um, Oh my gosh, it's so good. I made that brown butter tortellini with it the other day. So this has cane sugar, salt, maltodextrin, spices, brown cane sugar, dehydrated garlic, gum arabic, canola oil, molasses, natural flavor of silicon dioxide, and natural smoke flavor. Oh my gosh, it's so delicious. And it actually doesn't have onion in it. Oh, these are burning. I need to go ahead and... You see that smoke coming up? You're supposed to be watching this so they don't clump and they don't burn. I'm doing other things, okay? We push this down and then we're gonna shake it. And this is how we mix it up. No need for a whisk. And then this stores and it pours so nicely. So here we go. That's all mixed up. Good to go. There's dressing measurements on the side. So if you're making your own dressing, you can do that on the side right there. Set these over to the side. These are our seasonings that we used today. Cinnamon, the currency cinnamon, is only available for a short time, and it is a um, delicious season, a delicious cinnamon. Highly recommend, highly recommend. All right, 
So we're just going to scoop all these, all the dirty stuff in here, clean this off, and then we're going to go ahead and prep our salad. Okay. You guys ready? You guys ready to prep the salad? So when I went to the grocery store and I got my ingredients, they did not have um, broccoli. I had ordered broccoli in a in a contain in a little bag because it uh, because it was so um, expensive because all they had listed on the website was organic and I was like I don't need organic and um, then um, they didn't have it. I knew they were not going to have it because it said it was low in stock. When I walked in, they had so much broccoli. Like, what the heck? Could you not make a decision? You know? Anyway, it was not my normal store. You guys all know my normal store is Walmart. It was not my normal store. Um, Walmart has started this new things where it texts you when the stuff, I think these are done. When it texts you when there's thing. Um, oh, yummy. Okay. I'm going to kind of spread those out, let them cool and separate. Normally, you could put it on a parchment or whatever. I've just been leaving it in there if I'm not doing it, if I'm not doing that. So, anyway, the reason I peeled the stalks first is I'm actually going to go ahead and chop those stalks. So, we are going to put our broccoli in the bowl here, and we're just going to cut these little florets off. No need to be precise or anything. And we just want to have little florets. Okay, because we want this to be like a bite-sized salad. Now, normally I would have done this beforehand. You guys don't need to see me cut up the broccoli, but I was running late. So here we are. <laughs> okay, so the knife I'm using is from our coated knife set. It's pretty handy. Um, it's the Santuco knife, five inch Santuco knife. And let's see. All right, so two heads of broccoli. I cannot wait to eat this um, throughout the week. So tonight, I'm going out with some friends and we're gonna celebrate the million dollar achievement. Um, we're just getting coffee, guys. Don't get excited. Um, we're gonna go get some coffee and go celebrate that. Uh, maybe some dinner to go with the coffee. Um, but one of the things I've learned in all my years of being a Pampered Chef consultant is that you absolutely 100% have to celebrate your achievements. If you do not take time to celebrate your achievements, sometimes you end up forgetting what you achieved. And then you might feel ungrateful or you might feel um, dissatisfied if you don't take the time to celebrate. And I know that sounds kind of weird or counterintuitive, but it's actually true. So um, whenever you achieve something, I do not care what it is or how trivial you think it is, you definitely need to take time to um, celebrate. All right, so there's my preachy mom moment for just a moment there. I'm always telling my kids the same thing. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is, um, and I don't think I taught my kids that when they were growing up. Like, I don't think I really taught them well how to, how to celebrate well. All right, so next thing we're going to do is take our gala apples and we are going to core them. We're going to use the core right here. This core is actually pretty cool. I always turn my apples upside down. It's a little bit of a flatter surface. You have a little more control. We're going to push this in. It has kind of a serrated edge. And then look at this. You just push the button and it comes out. Okay. So we'll do this. Definitely want to wash all your produce before you start making a salad, which I did. So, um, so that's why everything's sticking to the board. It's kind of wet. This is dishwasher safe, very handy. So it says, um, Julie and the apples. Um, I think we might have to cut these in half. So we're gonna cut them in half because I want them to fit in the thing. So we're gonna Julie and the apples. It says setting number eight. Now this has 24 settings. Okay, three on the top, and so we're gonna put it on the julienne, which is the smallest. You have a flat, and then you have a thick slice, and a small slice. So we're putting on the smallest one, and then we're going to put this on number eight, which is, again, the smallest that it can go. Kick open the kickstand. Put it in here. We attach the chute. Okay, it snaps in, and we release the handle. Now, one thing I realized I've not shown you guys is kind of how this guillotine action works. I love this because when you press, 
you're not trying to do this with your hands. You're just pressing and the blade goes down and that's what's cutting the food. So handy, so impressive. And the thing you'll notice is that your hand is not anywhere near the cutting mechanism. So we're just gonna fit this in here. I guess it's gonna go like that. Okay, since it went like that, I'm gonna cut these in half. <laughs> okay. So, so, so fast. Again, cutting these in half, um, kind of like cutting them in quarters. So half, and then drop them in here. to give me smaller pieces. I love apples. I don't know if you guys I love apples. These are gala apples. This is actually a little tall for me to be on this thing and on the so but look at all of these yummy little apple slices. Julianne apples. You guys see that? Mmm so good. Tastes so good. And then um so we do this. And then I'm gonna show you guys what I do with the stems. Let me get all this out. I'm actually gonna add them to the salad. So I still have this on the julienne setting, right? We are gonna add the stems here. So we'll get all these nice little julienne pieces, these stems that we can add to the salad as well. Nice little chunky pieces right there. Well, I might not fill my bowl, so I might wait to add this. <laughs> All right, we're gonna close this up. This whole thing is dishwasher safe, easy to clean. Set this over here, clean off my tray. Love the prep and store because of the versatility. I'm not prepping anything anymore, per se. So it says, so move that out of the way. Um, add the salad ingredients in half of the thing. So the salad ingredients are two gal apples, two heads of broccoli, one cup of dried cranberries. Okay, I use the lower sugar kind, or you can use the no sugar kind. Um, it's hard to find the no sugar kind, you gotta order those online. Um, and then one package of ramen noodles. You guys, so we're not gonna use the flavoring in the ramen noodles, but we do need to break it up. So I'm gonna take my meat tenderizer to just kind of break it up in the package. I don't wanna hit too hard, because I don't want it to um, explode on me. Take the packet out, and looks like I might need to crunch it up just a little bit more. And we'll add that to the list right here. All right, we'll just take these, any of these that are not done, and we'll break them up a little bit. All right, and then what did it say? Um, half of the almonds and the dressing. Okay, so we kind of got our almonds already divided up half here. So we'll just kind of do that. Put these in here. Be careful, don't touch the bottom of this plate. It's hot. <laughs> I just did that. This plate is dishwasher safe. That's pretty handy. I need a bigger bowl, you guys. I had no idea. I need a bigger bowl. Have y'all ever done that? Like, like made something and then been like, oh no, I need a bigger bowl. Well, that's the situation here today. <laughs> I need a bigger bowl. And this is still almost not big enough. So I'm gonna to toss a little bit. I'm gonna give it a little toss before. This is so much salad, you guys. But this is, this might be dinner tonight. This looks really good. Can you imagine just add some like roasted chicken to it or some grilled chicken? Oh, it's like a restaurant salad, okay? And top with the dressing, it says, toss until the ingredients are coated. Now, I could pour out the spout, but since we're gonna use all the dressing, I'm actually gonna just pour it on here. Okay, I did use light mayonnaise, so there's that. Because <laughs> that was a lot of mayonnaise, three quarters of a cup. And then we're just gonna toss this together and then it sits for an hour and gets all ready to go. So if you have a potluck recipe that you need to bring this to, grab the largest on the go insulated bowl and put this in here, store it in your fridge to keep it nice and cold, get it nice and cold, and you can bring it to your event. It is a beautiful salad. It would look great in one of our stoneware um, serving bowls 
more on the unsulated serving bowl will be perfect. Oh my god, this, oh, those nuts are so good, you guys. Perfect fall salad. So yummy. You guys are going to love it. <clears throat> my mouth is watering. <coughs> All right. So I did want to let you know that we're nearing the end of October. <coughs> October, there's so much broccoli on the floor down here, you guys. <laughs> October is our month where, um, where we have our, we celebrate our heritage. It's our anniversary month with Pampered Chef. We've got 43 years under our belt. And so part of the special this month is stoneware. I didn't use stoneware today, um, but if you want to order any of our naked stones, that's the stones that don't have a glaze on them, those are 15% off until October 31st. If you're watching this video on YouTube or Facebook a year later, it's 2023, <laughs> okay? So, um, but those are um, going to be 15% off until the 31st. We also have our baking mixes, 15% off until the 31st. If you want to host a party and you want to get stoneware at your party, you can get two pieces of, uh, or sets of stoneware at 60% off. That's a huge savings. Our stoneware starter set is a little over $100, and so you get it for around $40, under $50 for that set. Such a great deal. Um, and so, or maybe you want to get the large entertaining ones. You have everything for Thanksgiving. You could do that as well. Those are two, the, any qualifying party, which is just $200 in sales, is going to get to pick two pieces or sets of stoneware at 60% off. So if you have stoneware on your list, now is the time to host, okay? I've got like two spaces left next week, the 30th. Um, I know it goes into December, but I mean into November, but we can definitely close your party out in time to get you those specials. Now, in November, our host offer is really generous as well. It is one any one item or set, 60% off. And then you get a second item at a $650 party. Now my average party is around seven or $800. And so most of my hosts are going to be getting that second piece. So if you are interested in getting that pop and stir for only $40, or getting that insulated serving bowl set for around $40, um, you know, anything that you're interested in getting at those bigger, higher price items, or maybe you want some cookware so that you're ready to go for Thanksgiving or for Christmas, then let's go ahead and book your party. The whole month of November, it's our anything month, and so you can pick anything 60% off. It's a great time to party. Um, I'm doing in-home parties if you're in the Colorado Springs area, and they're so much fun. We're doing um, appetizers and dips, and then if you are not local, or you don't want to have people over to your house, it's totally fine. We can do an online party. I also do Zoom parties, we do fundraisers, we do, um, let's see, uh, wedding showers. So we have so many different options um, that you can share with your friends. I would love to hook, connect you and hook you up. And I just wanted to give one more big shout out to anybody who has been one of my customers, purchased from me, or hosted a party with me over the last 26 years. You guys are awesome. and. Um, this, this achievement of mine is actually yours and I appreciate you so much. So have a great day, you guys, and I will see you next time.